I'm Patrick Norman. I'm Michael Glabicki of Rusted Root. Hmm. Well, I think I, th you know, I think music is a, a way to travel to sort of other dimensions and other places that can't be spoken of in words. And I, I think music is has that healing power. Um, I think uh, there's a, there's a lot of bands out there that have, that have done that same thing. Uh, we just kind of have like our own special little little avenue that we take with it. Well, um, <laughs> thank you very much. Uh, I, I guess uh, just that um, we're out there w uh, with a positive message and a positive vibe. Uh, uh, spreading our music around, you know, playing, and and they're invited to uh, join the celebration and come, come dance and jam with us. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of different things that we do musically. Uh, Send me my way was one of them, and uh, there's worlds and worlds of different types of influences and different types of uh, um, rhythms, ethnic drumming. Uh, lyrical meaning whether it be it's very personal and emotional to very uh, sort of out there and dreamy landscape-ish to um, cinematic yeah just all, all different kinds of stuff so so I think when you come to when people come to a Rusted Roots show that only know send me on my way they're just so surprised definitely I've, re I've read a lot of, a lot on the ro on the road as well as at home and and yeah, I was gonna say I think you write everywhere yeah <laughs> it's just and constant it's, flow it's good with know? computers now <laughs> to, to really keep the files the ideas straight I used to carry around like um, a big suitcases full of cassettes mm -hmm. and and then I'd, I'd have two cassette players and I would edit a, edit the ideas down on cassette and and that was uh, that was a lot of work and nothing really ever really got done on the road that much but now with computers uh it's it's great because we can um i can bring up a song that day in the hotel room and then go to sound check and we can have it out that night for the show yeah wow. Does that happen? You oh yeah yeah lots i mean all the time yeah, uh, we we like record uh, sound checks. You know, we'll come up with a song like on the spot, listen to it like a few days later. Mike will like listen to it, write some lyrics down, then we'll go work on it again and turn it into something. You know, it's just like a it's a constant uh, evolution. You know. Yeah, there's been there's recently been a lot more of like the full band being on stage, and that's just uh, immediately coming up with an idea for for a song, and that's sort of like the the reverse for me because then I got to take that and go to the hotel room and write lyrics for it as opposed to bringing in the song and the guitar and, and, and the melody lines and having the band arrange it and then bringing it up. So it's a lot, a lot of back and forth now. So it's pretty cool. Well, I kind of felt like the, move, the, the album The Movement was sort of celebrating our last 25 years together and, and that, uh, you know, we started off as just a bunch of freaks in Pittsburgh and, and uh, <clears throat> doing what nobody else was doing. <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, from the from the point of people saying, "What are you doing? Why aren't you playing grunge? Why isn't it, why isn't it heavy?" Yeah, to, to the point of like we we would <laughs> for our shows we would rent out warehouses and and just put out the word that everybody should bring food to our concert and we'd sit down and eat, and eat you know a potluck dinner before going up on stage and and uh, playing the show and yeah. and it was just that community you know kind of thing. So we were just all kind of you know. Uh, you know, fortunate freaks. Yeah, you know, we're doing and, a, doing our own thing, and being twenty five years at it, it's we're very fortunate. Yeah. I wish we could see G. We can't. Well, these, they're playing. G's playing around the same time we are. We're we're kind of. Are we overlapping? A little bit, yeah. So I don't know if we'll get a chance to see him or not. Maybe get maybe catch five minutes of their set or something. We kind of come in and out. We're just taking off pretty quickly. But, yeah. Um, yeah. If we, if we could see G Love, that would be great. <laughs> 